A group of boys have 2, just been rescued by a later. in a British plane crash. Two boys, Jack and Ralph, are about to show us a glimpse into their private lives as they re-enter society. So boys, how does it feel to be re-entered into our society? <laughs> well, uh, I mean, it's nice, but I, I like the animal life, you know? I heard Idaho's pretty primitive, so that'll be wizard. But the parents will be annoying. I think as long as we're law-abiding citizens that have rules, and we don't kill things, we should be okay. <laughs> That's me. Jordan. Thank you for that intriguing report, Emily. We'll check back in on Ralph and Jack two weeks later. Upon entering back in society, Jack and Ralph have started their education. <laughs> we decided to interview some teachers. I'm here with the teachers of Ralph and Jack. Mrs. Part, how are Ralph and Jack doing in your English class? Well, Ralph can be very intellectual about human nature and the savagery that's always within us. But he can be pretty overwhelmed and too confident with his peers and expecting things to get done when that's not really the way things work around here. He is bullied by the beasts of bullies in our school. <laughs> well, sorry to hear that. Six and a half hours. Today on Channel 4 News, the weather. <laughs> <laughs> going to give us some insight on the life of Jack. Why well, yes, Jack is very determined, but his determination can get out of hand. When he does not get something he wants, he will automatically resort to violence, punching or hurting someone who wronged him. He still has not quite adjusted to the concept of civilization. On the first day, he brought a machete and coconut to school for his lunch. He does take advantage of the younger kids. Bringing them into their group and teaching them bad morals and bad things. The little kids love to listen to these stories, but a lot of the time, he picks on them and bullies them. Seriously, he's a mean guy. Little kids! Ah, little kids! Guys, I hate you. Just kidding, I can't hate people. <laughs> Thanks to Mrs. Park and Mr. Coconut, we have been able to have insight on the beast within the school, the bullies and the bullied. We can only hope that these kids get better. After all, they are kids that can be molded back into shape. Next week, we'll check back into the two boys and see how they're doing. We're sorry to hear your loss of Mr. Coconut. Clutch Valley School. This and then we'll <laughs> Yes, let me get the human nature. Okay. Breaking news. A group of boys have just been found on a British island where they were stranded for a British plane crash. <laughs> 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 well, that, that laugh was disgusting. Okay. I say brain glass. I don't know. Maybe I'm. Two boys mm -hmm. are about to show us their private. <laughs> <laughs> Are they? <laughs> About to throw their private <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Happy birthday, dear Kaito. Happy birthday to you. He just goes out. We'll look at him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a bunch of good sports, okay? You get sports. You can hear the one. Human flesh. Human flesh. <laughs> 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 no, 
Oh, what are you doing? We're filming a video for Mrs. Reeds. Thanks, Mrs. Clifford. <laughs> Thank you.